Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the brand new auto hide mesh feature with Character Creator 1.52. So this feature is really useful for a lot of users, uh, those who intend to export their models to other 3D tools or game engines. And the reason for that is because it reduces the polygon count of your character's mesh. And that saves a lot of resources in your game. You know, by hiding the mesh, the uh, resources aren't being calculated and therefore things run a little bit faster. Uh, that's one advantage. The other advantage is it also prevents from uh, mesh penetration. So say, for example, in a certain position or a certain animation, your character's lower layers of meshes are kind of poking through the upper layer. Well, if those lower layers don't exist underneath that upper layer, then we don't have to worry about that penetration. So that uh, resolves a lot of those issues as well. We'll talk about that in just a moment. In addition to that, you can also retain the best body and clothing shape. So um, say, for example, your character has a lot of layers on and you want to place another layer on top, um, you know, normally that layer would have to conform to the frumpy kind of lopsided uh, uh, mesh that's underneath it, and maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want a nice, slim, and natural-looking uh, fit. And we'll talk about that a little bit later as well. But first of all, let's talk about what auto-hide mesh is. So basically what happens here is uh, it'll send out a, a ray from the uh, bone of your character, and if it detects there's a, a layer of mesh over top of the clothing layer, then it'll basically delete that lower layer. Uh, the area that's being covered, it'll delete that lower layer, as long as it's in the path of the uh, ray going from the bone uh, to the upper layer there. And if you add another layer on top of that, then it'll do the same thing for the lower two layers. It'll delete, uh, remove all that mesh that's not needed underneath the upper layer. So for the user, all that's visible is the upper layer, but underneath it's kind of taking away all that stuff and saving resources at the same time. All right, so let's take a look at this character we have on the screen first and talk about uh, what auto hide mesh is. So, you know, with your character selected, you can just go over here to conform and you can go into cloth layer settings. Now you can see we have a camisole underneath of a blazer underneath and we have low rise shorts and high heels right here. The high heels don't really matter in this case, but uh, we can just delete this conform clothing window right now. All right, so say you wanted to, you can see there's an option for auto hide mesh right here, okay? Now, if I select auto hide mesh, what's going to happen is it's going to remove all the character's mesh underneath this blazer. And basically, if there was a bra underneath the, uh, the uh, camisole as well, it would totally remove that. Because basically, everything that we see, everything looks fine here except for that lower leg area there. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. But everything looks fine to our naked eye. However, if we go into our uh, scene manager right here and we decide to change our blazer to... Uh, whoops. X-ray view, for example, you can see underneath there's really nothing there. Um, we only have the neck and shoulders area right here. Everything around that, including the top section of the uh, the pants right there, or the short shorts rather, has been taken out. And if we can, we can get a better view if we just go back to normal and kind of remove the entire thing. And you can see the result right here. Um, everything has been uh, removed, which is saving a lot of resources. We're only seeing really what we need to see. All right, and if I uh, uh, restore that back there. You can see that we also have the option here to resume content settings. So that'll resume it back to its normal state right there. And once we do that, you can see it'll restore the uh, leg area right there. But we're going to auto hide mesh right now. Uh, keep it that way. Now, auto hide mesh will automatically detect whether or not there's a layer on top, like I mentioned. So if I decide, for example, to delete this blazer, let's go ahead and delete. Even though previously, um, we had all that stuff taken away. Once the blazer is gone, it'll restore that lower mesh for the camisole and for the uh, arms and everything like that. You can see it restored right there. And if I press Control Z and undo that, it's going to restore the blazer. And if we go to uh, make the blazer invisible right there again, we can see we have restored all that auto hide mesh taken care of. All right, now see, for example, you know, certain cases may not be completely 100% accurate. So you may see something like this where the uh, mesh is still uh, you know, missing where you want to see it. In that case, all you really need to do is just go ahead and uh, close this down. Uh, make sure you select the mesh that you want to restore. In this case, it's the character's body mesh, so character creator standard. And select edit mesh mode. And I'm going to select back face selection in this case because we want to select the back of the thighs too as well, just this lower area down there. There's a little bit you can see breaking through there as well, or not shown there as well. All you need to do is select all that stuff and then just select show. And once you select show, you can see that now it has been restored. All order has been restored to the universe. So we're looking fine and dandy.
Okay, so that's really all there is to it. That's auto hide mesh in a nutshell. Now let's delete this blazer right now, and we're going to add another item of clothing on top of that. So let's go ahead and wait for that to delete. There we go. And the content tab, I'm just going to go over here to uh, coats, and I'm going to go into my essential clothing pack. You can purchase this from the content store separately. And instead of this case, instead of a blazer, we're now going to use a hoodie. Now I'm going to load in this uh, hoodie right here. Now this hoodie is going to present a challenge for us because you'll see a couple of issues once we load in this hoodie. You can see, first of all, that the mesh is actually breaking through. So this is the uh, the breakthrough, the, the penetration of meshes that I mentioned earlier. You can see the camisole mesh is breaking through the chest. And that's obviously not something that we want. Now, traditionally, the way to fix this would be to go to conform and calculate collision again. Or you can also go to cloth layer settings, select your hoodie, and run collision. And that will make, basically make the hoodie's mesh change and it'll try to conform to the shape of the camisole underneath. So you can see the shape changed. Her breast maybe got a little bit bigger there, which may be good in some cases, but uh, we don't want that. We want to restore the original shape of the hoodie. So if we press Control Z and undo that, you can see that it'll restore that breakage through right there. However, if we select Auto Hide Mesh again, now keep in mind as well that Auto Hide Mesh is universal. It's not just for one item of clothing. When you select Auto Hide Mesh, it's going to hide all the meshes for all the, all the items, items of clothing that are not being shown at that point. Okay, so it's not one by one. It's a universal uh, thing for your entire character. So now if I select Auto Hide Mesh, you'll see that the area right here under the armpit and the, and the breast area will be gone. However, the shape of the hoodie does not change at all. So the breast size does not increase and everything is fine and dandy. And you can see right there, basically, go around to the back. Everything is looking fine and dandy. Now notice that there's a little bit of an issue uh, on the chest here. Now you may you know, experience some issues on the chest, and if that happens, we can manually edit the mesh. Okay, so what I wanna do here is go to my scene manager here. I'm gonna select the camisole, and we're gonna to go to edit mesh mode here, and I'm gonna select this section right here, these three sections, a small section right here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and show it. All right, so now we've restored that section right there where we can show it. And we need to do the same thing for the uh, the character as well. So let's select Character Creator Standard here. And in Edit Mesh Mode again, just select the area that we want to show and select Show. All right, and that should be able to show our uh, chest right there as well. All right, so basically that entire thing has been fixed there. And we can go out of Edit Mesh Mode and all is right in the world. We can see the little tiny bit of uh, camisole poking through our hoodie right there. And then, of course, you know, the legs... In this case, again, we need to be modified. Uh, same procedure, back face selection, and uh, just show, and the legs will be shown. Now for our final example here, I'm going to show you one of the coolest things that uh, Auto Hide Mesh does, and that is it uh, takes the data from the opacity maps on your clothing to actually uh, take away stuff that's not needed. For example, like this, uh, this pair of jeans here with the holes in the uh, thigh and, and the knee right there. What it can do is it can actually take away all the geometry underneath, all the mesh underneath, except for where it's needed in those whole areas. I'm going to turn off the morph slider or morph gizmo right here for now. So say, for example, I want to go to scene. Let's take a look at our character right now. If we make the jeans invisible, you can see basically only this area right here is taken away. You can still see the, uh, the most of the legs and everything like that, which we don't need to see. So if we went up to conform, and we went to uh, color uh, cloth layer settings again and auto hide mesh. You can see there's only one layer here, which is the, uh, the jeans, obviously. So if we do the auto hide mesh and we remove the jeans uh, now, you can see that it still shows up where those holes are. So we still need to see the skin underneath those holes. So what it does is it actually analyzes the opacity map from that pair of jeans and it still shows the skin underneath the knee and the thigh right there where we need it. So it's really detailed in that, in that sense. And, uh, you know, you can, you know, use the procedural holes and everything like that in your substance materials as well. Uh, but that's really a really cool feature with the new auto hide mesh that it's able to do that and still, uh, automatically, you know, retain the areas that it's needed by analyzing the opacity map. So that's really all there is to this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.